Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the start line of a DCGP of Ebizu West. The new track that was released for DCGP. We're going to be taking a rip on that today in another spotlight car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All in the description box below. Let's do it. So for today's we spotlight, we do have a BMW. So of course we have the right shoes. This is TDS Lemons E36. It is a DCG based car with modeling and updates done by Benny's Garage. It definitely is a very aggressive car. I do like uh, all the lemons on the sides. And it's just a amazing looking car. And E36s are a very great chassis. And obviously I'm running BMWs now in my competition cars so the c36 definitely a very fun car to rip for sure for me so we're going to take a look at ebizu west and then we're going to be taking on laguna seca's drift course you heard me right laguna seca so without further ado let's get to it and let's do some more stuff so we're going to run it in first as well as third oof that turbo so this Ebizu West track looks um, a bit difficult in that little hairpin section, a little downhill, so we see what we can do. We're going to start this in second gear. Got some really nice transmission clunks. See if we get through these chicanes. DCGP chicanes pretty small. Fifth gear. Trucking it in. Oh, we did not break soon enough. But we're going to run the track and see if we finish this up. Did not slow down enough initially. I love how this car sounds. I love the transmission whines and the dip whining. The overall not a terrible run. For the first run out in this car, this could have been way worse of a run. So we're going to go another full run in it. And then we'll switch up to third person. We'll take a look at the first two runs in uh, a box camera because I don't know if this track has a good replay camera just so we can get a perspective from the outside definitely have a lot of fun driving all these cars and so another comp spec car so we get out of this gate again nope there's a cone hit I don't think my M4 would fit out of that gate start breaking sooner that's a little bit better that bump now this car does not have any type of setup on it, so we could probably tune it to manage those bumps better. And bring it out into that outer zone. Fell out of it towards the end. But not too shabby of a run. So now we're gonna go out in third person and drive this course. Thought of tires. Oh, oh, we're in the grass. Sorry, Lemon. Ugh. We almost just uh Biffed Lemon's car into the wall. So he did tell me to drive the crap out of this car. So that's what we are trying to do. Like I said, we're going to Laguna Seca Drift Track next. Which utilizes a very interesting portion of that track. So third person run here. Full set. See, you gotta break way sooner with that. Oh, we kind of ran that one out though. A little tire drop there. Angled that out way wider than I wanted to. Just probably should have been down to force on that final uh, little section, which we're gonna actually run that again and probably downship into fourth. On that section don't want to go into the dirt again so entry you do got to start slowing down pretty uh pretty substantially quick to get that hairpin right especially with that little downhill section so one more run here I'll take a look at those replays throw on some more angle to get through that's what I kind of wanted to do don't break more throw on some more angle probably what the judges would want to see anyways. Bring that one back in. That's a much solid over a run. Just 
Shift it four gears through that. Yep, that was a much better run. So let's go take a look at those first two runs and see how we did on those first two. Let's see, we're going to box cam, activate our box cam. Get past what I was doing, a little intro clip. All right, first run. Initiation was good. We were deep in the zone, but we did push that way wide. Huge understeer also. We were in that zone. A little bit more of understeer there. Let's see where we were in the actual outer zone. We fell off towards the end. So overall, not too terrible of a first run in this car, in you know the in-car camera. So the second run was, I feel, a little bit better, but we're gonna find out. This car just so much aggression in the car. Oh, we cut through those cones. That would have been uh, very bad. At least we got a solid run in third. I like the lemons on the side. The lemon machine. So overall, not too bad on this track for the first time running this track. Definitely going to be doing some testing on this track because this track is a lot of fun. So we're going to switch it up to that Laguna Seca drift track that I told you about as we watch my, myself almost wreck his car. So I'll say, catch you guys on grid. So Laguna Seca, it's definitely a fun track. I've drifted this whole track when I was doing grip versus drift, but now we have a drift section. Um, I will leave all the links for all the tracks down in the description box below, but it utilizes the uphill course route, so backwards of the actual racetrack. So it's a bit different, but we're gonna run it in third person first. I didn't change my brakes, I'm locking them up. We're gonna run it in third person first, and then we will run it in first. So let's go full send. Second gear starts, probably be fifth gear. Kind of a late wonky initiation, but. Oh, we're, we're dirt dropping there. Trying to get out to that zone. Don't touch it, go on the wall. That would be a fourth gear down chip going up there. And up to the top. So it's definitely a very aggressive track. And uh, it's probably fun to run it the other way. Let's see. Running the other way, coming in down in that wall is actually aggressive. We can almost run this both ways. So we're going to go run it in first person now, see if we can't tackle the Laguna Seca drift track in Lemons E36 in first person because this track going up that hill is going to be very, uh, very interesting and very different. Like I said, I will leave all the links in the description box below for these tracks. Let's gear off the rip. Early initiation. I can't see where I'm going. That, that uh, banner definitely got rid of all my line of sight. That's a really dirty brake grab. I definitely need to bring my car up here. Overall, not too bad. Definitely was not the cleanest on that initiation part. And I do need to do some tuning to this car if I want to make it like perfect for my style of driving. So I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching another episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the in the description box below. I'm going to run it one more time. Then we'll take a look at the if it's got a replay camera and see how bad we actually were on those second runs. Because this track is very challenging. So all these tracks are actually being able to find on Vossen if you... Um, do not know about Boston. I'll leave the link down there as well. For all the competitive tracks, car packs, and stuff like that. Uh, they're all on there. Some of my stuff's on there as well. So let's go full send. That, that clunk every time. Sounds so good. Good gear. Good 
Oh, we kind of straightened out. We're in the dirt. Yeah, we need to do some gearing extension for this car, I feel. Definitely a very aggressive track, so let's go take a look and see if we do have some replays. We do have a judging camera. So I think this might have been the first one to take a look at the judging camera. Initiation was pretty good, and then yeah, we lost it there. We definitely needed to uh, change some gearing to get this car to run full here. But like I said, not a tuned setup. Definitely gonna bring my car out here and see what my M4 or my United 2 practice car can do because uh, this track is fun. Maybe pull on some of the guys and see if we can't get some tandems because uh, I feel like this could make for a very interesting tandem section. AC Drift France is uh, the series that is using this track. So a big thank you to TDS Lemon for giving me the keys or the push button to his E36 comp car. Definitely uh, hope I drove it. Probably not as good as him because, like I said, everybody's car is totally different. Definitely need some more time in it to get it solid. But it was an aggressive car, so big thank you to him. And uh, Benny's Garage looks like did amazing work on the car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All from the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.